What's up, Gemini? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your November 2021 Tarot and Astrology reading. This will resonate most if you are a Gemini rising, but you can also find some messages if you are a Gemini sun or moon as well. So make sure to watch your other readings for your signs and let's get into it. So November is a crazy mother effing month. <laughs> if you saw my November astrology, what you need to know about November video, then you know, you know, November is not coming to play with our asses. So let's get into it for you, Gemini. The craziness this month is happening in your sixth house sector, which is a little icky, not going to lie. You're one of the signs that I wouldn't put at the top of the list, but you're not at the bottom of the list. You know what I mean? You're like mid of the signs that would be feeling this the most, basically. So Gemini, this is a month where you could be having a lot of changes come up with your health and your work and anything that you do to kind of any kind of maintenance that you need to do on yourself or for your life or your lifestyle, your health on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are going to be the major themes that come up for you. And you could experience a lot of changes in those areas, a lot of breakthroughs as well, or you could be liberating yourself from certain obligations or certain responsibilities that have felt like they have became too heavy or just too much in some way. This is a month where you're really gonna be seeing possibly where you've been neglecting yourself, neglecting your self-care, neglecting your health in some way, or even neglecting certain work, jobs, things that you need to be doing or certain chores that you have that you know need to be done that you've been neglecting and those are going to be really big. It could feel like, it could just feel like you have a lot that you're responsible for at the moment or like you are pushing yourself a little bit too hard. This is a month where perseverance is a really, really big thing and we have the nine of wands here coming up. So endurance, perseverance, and resilience are three really huge keywords for you in the month of November. This is a month that is definitely going to be pushing you past your limits or you're going to be trying to put push yourself past your limits. But it's so important to remember to take care of yourself with the sun here. Vitality is another big thing that could come up. Energy. Do you have the energy to be doing all this? Like what are the commitments that you're making? Are you making too many commitments? Are you putting too much on yourself? Do you need to take time for healing in some way? Do you need to take time for yourself in some way, you know? I also see a lot going on here with possibly like your social life or the situations and environments that you find yourself in this month. It may be important to really be aware and conscious of the people and environments that you're putting yourself in and how those could be draining your energy in some way. Certain habits or day-to-day -day behaviors, situations, or people that you're around could be something that you find that are almost draining you in some way. With the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups here, there could be kind of like a lot going on, possibly some gossip or some illusionary behavior with certain situations or social situations in your life basically is what I'm seeing here. You also have storm fields. And so this really tells me that there could be some massive change coming for you this month that is really pulling you out of your comfort zone and forcing you, not like forcing you, but pushing you towards a new direction. And that is possibly causing you to make some changes, some changes that you didn't expect or some sudden changes that maybe you had thought about that you would have to make for a while or you had kind of known were coming, but then they kind of happen and you're like, oh, I wasn't all the way prepared. And that's kind of the theme, a big theme of this month. Are you prepared? Are you all the way prepared for these changes? And if not, you know, how can you adapt to them now, right? This month is a, a month to be very, very adaptable. So let's go over the rest of your cards here. That is basically your astrology in a nutshell. You could be really seeing how certain day-to-day -day things that you're doing in your reality are causing certain issues in terms of like behind the scenes, basically in some way. So certain habits or 
you know, certain day-to-day -day responsibilities, certain things that you're doing with your health, your diet, exercise, that could somehow be causing shakeups behind the scenes, whether in your sleep, your sleep routines, also your subconscious, certain patterns, certain behaviors. And also with Saturn in your ninth house, this is also really showing you how certain world views that you have or exhibit belief systems or dogmas even you know certain dogmatic views that you have could also be somehow contributing to certain health issues or certain work issues that you're having this month so that could be something else that kind of ties in here it could also bring up with saturn in your ninth education or learning pursuits traveling things like that. So you could also be seeing like some kind of change or shake up in those departments or themes of those things in some way. I could also see you possibly um, needing to change environments somehow. So this could be like moving or this could be like needing to instead of going to one place every day to get your groceries going to another for some reason like something happening in your environment and something happening in your surroundings that forces you to go within and change something. So some other things that we have here. So we have the three of wands and this is coming before that three of cups and that seven of cups. So I'm really seeing here that you have these, cert you're trying to make these certain plans. You have these certain goals or commitments that you're trying to achieve. But once again, with this three of cups and seven of cups, is there something here that is possibly distracting you from that or that is possibly gotten toxic in some way or possibly clouding your judgment in some way and it could be a social issue like i said a certain situation or environment uh, that you are frequenting and then we have the queen of cups and the strength card and this is really beautiful energy emotionally maturing and finding some kind of strength to face some kind of fear because we have the eight of swords here so this is really facing some kind of fear some kind of worry something going on that you've had anxiety about or that you've been a little bit restless over or that's been causing you issues in your you know, subconscious realm, psychological realm with Uranus in the 12th, like I was saying, that there's some kind of fear, worry, or anxiety here this month that you are needing to face in a responsible manner. It's going to kind of take some time. It may not happen. You know, it's not something that you can just do impulsively or quickly. It's going to take some time. And it's, it's also forcing you to kind of mature and make like mature decisions about something. And so that's kind of what I'm seeing here with this. And then we also have the three of pinnacles. So what I'm seeing here with this is that if you allow other people to help you and collaborate, if you work with others as a team, or if you take your time and do kind of one thing at a time, even if it seems like the odds are stacked against you, that you will succeed because we have the six of wands here. And so this to me definitely seems like you will gain some kind of success or some kind of notoriety or at least overcome this challenge um, by this three of pinnacles, which means working together with others, collaborating or asking for help, or at the very least, you know, taking it one step at a time, slow and steady kind of energy with Mars square Saturn. It's like taking action, but in a mature manner. And last but not least, like I was saying, we have the nine of wands here, which is you know, a card of endurance, perseverance, and resilience. And so um, it really is kind of overcoming that challenge and really feeling like, okay, I see where I need to put up certain boundaries now. I see where I have to be a little bit more strict with certain things that I'm doing, my health, my work, my responsibilities, my commitments, whatever the case may be, in order for me to thrive in the way that I need to. So this is a month where you're really addressing those those things that need maintenance in your life, Gemini. It's a month where you're really getting to the root and to the bottom of the things in your life that ha that you've been slacking on, you know? And it's also a month where you could feel quite inspired in some ways, but also push yourself a little bit too far and experience some kind of burnout. And so you do wanna be careful with that as well. So we have this new moon in Scorpio astrologically on the fourth, you may be seeing this after the fourth though, but that new moon in Scorpio is really kind of that starting point, bringing up themes of health, work, maintenance, your day-to-day -day routines and how you take care of yourself, your lifestyle, etc. 
So you're really going to start seeing that kick off um, around, you know, the fourth, that first week of November. And then we have Venus moving into Capricorn, which is your eighth house sector of finance and other people's money, debt, death, you know, changes and transformations and uh, occult and the taboo, you know, anything that you share with other people, any resources that you share with other people or get from other people or things that they owe you. So Venus and Capricorn is definitely going to be bringing up what is important and what, when it comes down to it, what kind of financial foundation do you want to have? What kind of foundation do you want to have for, you know, your money, your resources, and things that you may need to work on with debt and those things that you value, that you put value and quality and stock into. Um, and it could be bringing up things to do with your partner's finances or their life in some way as well. And then we have, um, you know, after that, we start getting into the Mercury Mars conjunction square Saturn, which is happening from your sixth to your eighth. And so, or I'm sorry, your sixth to your ninth. And so there could be a lot coming up here, a lot of realizations or rough, possibly some tough realizations in terms of, are you walking the talk? You know, are your somehow belief systems, your education, your views, your worldviews, your political views, whatever it may be, somehow keeping you back from your lifestyle, your health, or the things that you need to do, or certain things that you need to take care of for you to be okay. It could also just be certain goals that you have that maybe you've been trying to work towards, but your sixth house area of health and work somehow needs addressed in that way. We get into a pretty chaotic time of the Uranus transits, which can bring a lot of intense realizations, a lot of shakeups, a lot of unexpected uh, situations or communications. It could also, you know, it could also be a time where you are just, you're trying to break free of certain obligations or responsibilities that you have on a day-to-day -day basis or find a unique way to do them. Something that is, gives you more freedom and more liberation and more space. And I also really see with this Gemini that there could be some kind of really strict, you know, day-to-day -day thing that you're involved with that is really taking a lot of your time and your energy and you're trying to find a unique and innovative way to somehow break that down or to find more independence or to find more freedom in that. And so that's kind of what I really see here um, as a major theme, as a major theme for your month, especially mid month. On the 19th, we have the Taurus lunar eclipse and this is in your 12th house. So around that time, it's gonna be very intense for breakthroughs, endings, powerful moments, and uh, a powerful time for really seeing old patterns, self-sabotaging behaviors, and breaking free of those in some way. So really watch out for that time period, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, so don't worry. And yeah, um, that is basically it for your November Gemini. Definitely let me know down below if this ends up resonating. I would love to hear your feedback and how it ends up going for you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my other videos.